this is ta talk about simulation study on skill uh, consensus over skill free networks. Um, mainly considering the relationship between power load distribution parameters and consensus speed. And we tried two different uh, consensus aggregates to see whether our observation is a general one. Uh, there's uh, we also observed the parameters, the relationship between parameters and the network topology. And also we introduced, uh, um, we tried several fraction order consensus algorithms. Uh, this is how we determine a scale for a network. And the D there means the degree of the node and the number of node we set to 1000 in our simulation and the method we build the network is uh, partly stochastic method which ensures the diversity of the graph and uh, there is the consensus algorithm here's, uh, here's TC here means the time to reach consensus and we see it it grows as the uh, gamma grows here, and it it decreases as the uh, d minimum grows. The d minimum means the minimum degree of a node in the uh, in the network. And this is a discrete consensus algorithm, uh, which is uh, related to the connection of the node, and uh, this resulted in similar performance of consensus. Uh, KC here means the iteration is to reach consensus, iterations. And uh, we observed the some relationship between lambda 2 and uh, power law distribution parameters. Lambda 2 is the second uh, energy value of the uh, Laplacian of the graph matrix. It is seen as a web, it is seen as a measure of the graph robustness, and in some literature, uh, in some other literatures, it is a measure of the consistent speed. Um, this is just the relationship between lambda two and d minimum. It seems uh, uh, it seems proportional to the d minimum. Why um, there is a band? What? Why there is a band? What? It's not one line, but a band. Oh, uh, all these bands are of different uh, gamma in the, of the power law distribution. I see. Yeah. And here's the uh, EG here means the, the side of the network, which means the edges, the total edges of the network. We can see uh, uh, this is similar to the shape of the lambda 2, uh, which implies higher lambda 2 uh, is of higher, uh, uh, is of more edges in the network, which increases the robustness of the network. Uh, the relationship between lambda uh, d minimum and uh, the size of the graph is uh, also looks like a linear relationship. Uh, I tried to find out something between lambda 2 and the size of graph. Uh, I didn't notice that there is some relationship like this, all these lines. Uh, that might be some clue to find out the reason why uh, yeah, that might be some clue to explain the consensus speed. Well, this is a consensus time versus algebraic connectivity. Um, it might be a power law distribution, and uh, it might be a perfect power law distribution. Yeah. This is a log log uh, plot. Mm -hmm. And the consensus time versus the minimum could also could also be a 
power law uh, relationship. So uh, after all these observations, we uh, came to these conjectures. Um, we were thinking whether the estimation, estimated consistency time has a power law relation with the algebraic connectivity and uh, the relationship between uh, estimate time and minimum node degree could also be a power law relationship. And if these two are true, then the algebraic connectivity might, uh, will be proportional to minimum node degree. And uh, all these observations inspires that we could try to create some dynamic topology so that we can uh, try to reach the consensus sooner. And this is some uh, something about fractional order consistent algorithm and this is our control law and we use this state a stochastic function to measure the uh, disagreement of the agent in the network. <coughs> this is a typical result of the fractional order algorithm. And if we zoom in this part, we can see that sometimes the fractional order algorithm has much better performance than the uh, integer order consensus algorithm. And again, we zoom in this part. We see that uh, one fraction order algorithm is not always better than another. This might be cause, uh, this might be the result of the topology of the graph. And this inspired us that we, uh, sorry, we could design the alpha here, the alpha of the fractional order algorithms to achieve uh, shorter consistent time or other uh, cost functions. And if this, if the graph is a skill-free network, uh, this alpha might be related to the parameters of the uh, power law distribution. That's that's it. Thanks. Uh -huh. So thank you for your time.